Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Revive Project. I'm Psycho again with you today and in this one we're going to be covering the third game of the LEGO Racer series. Um, the forgotten one, the one that is actually kind of good but um, was outshined by the previous two, especially the second one, uh, LEGO Drone Racers. So, uh, LEGO Drone Racers is a LEGO racing video game developed by, um, I think it was Attention to Detail, and published by Electronic Arts and LEGO Interactive, and released back in 2002 um, for PlayStation 2, I think? Yeah, for PlayStation 2 and Microsoft Windows, and later it was also ported to the GameCube. Um, a spin-off was also released later on for the Game Boy Advance, um, which was published by THQ and is the third LEGO Racing game um, right after LEGO Racers 2. Um, the LEGO Drone Racers was actually not such a popular game after, LEGO, after the success of LEGO Racers and LEGO Racers 2, which were pretty amazing to go with it, and with the LEGO Drone, Ra Drone Racers coming out, it still keeps the same kind of gameplay and everything, but was not as popular as the previous two installments, just because it was made um, differently. Um, as far as the gameplay and plot for the game goes, the game is set actually in the year 2015. Weird as that may sound right now, um, back then that was the future. Um, and is a pretty much combination of a racing gameplay with the LEGO license game. Um, offering vehicles that were released as toys before and with a lot of customization for you to actually um, make your own car and race the way you want to and just go through the game with a car that pretty much suits you. Uh, the career mode puts you in role of Max Axel who is tasked with winning the next championship and um, if we look at it, look at the game and the championship base, that's pretty much the point of the whole game. You are going to go through a multi-challenge um, races, series of races in which you complete, um, in which you compete to to win and and in the end, pretty much um, get your get your champ get to the championship final and win there as well. Um, in the in the time while you are pretty much racing and winning the championship, you get to meet new people who will pretty much help you on your team and um, provide you with upgrades and useful tips and everything that will pretty much give the story kind of a more of a story-like feel and less of just a um, how should we call it play to play to get to to be the best. Um, in the end. Um, you can win by upgrading your existing car or buying a new one through throughout the game and upgrading it to pretty much um, have it the way you want it to and make it as comfortable for you as you'd like to get through um, to get through the game actually and to to win the the championship. As far as the graphics go the graphics aren't much to talk about actually um, because it's an old game back published back in 2002, the graphics aren't much um, if you compare it to today's games. But back then, those were the pretty much top-notch graphics. That was um, that was an amazing graphic style for um, for the year 2002, and it back then it was it was on the the level of the how should we call it, the better ones actually, with all the effects and everything going on and the blinking lights, electricity, fire, um, everything that goes around you, um, there's a lot of stuff that can be pretty much, um, how should we call it, that can be, um, that can be given praise um, for that year actually, for the, for the year when the game was released. Um, the GameCube mode Actually, um, unlike the PlayStation 2 and PC mode, uh, features a two-player battle mode, which pretty, which gives you an option of, um, of kind of a multiplayer 
experience uh, throughout the game as well. Bye. So, I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you racing fans, all of you LEGO Racers fans. It's pretty much an upgrade to LEGO Racers actually, although the graphics and kind of the style of the game aren't much to be talked about um, and lack in comparison, in my opinion, um, to the LEGO Racers and LEGO Racers 2. Um, it's still an amazing racing game where you can shoot people and just have a lot of fun throughout the game. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you racing fans and LEGO fans and that's pretty much gonna be all from my side for this one. Um, in the meantime guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos and join me in the next one.